Today's reflection from St Peter's is taken from our Lent book, The Living Cross. It's Sunday the 28th of March, Palm Sunday. The Coming King, Matthew chapter 21 verses 1 to 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you'll find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfil what was written through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowd that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. All of life is Lent. So I said to a visiting American friend, not long after I had moved to England, for although I adored being married to my new husband, I felt as if I'd lost so much in the move to a new country. Job, family and friends, familiar customs and language. I had tried to observe my usual practice of various fasts during Lent, but gave up after a few days when it all felt so hard, my head hurting from the accumulated losses. After a few years, however, I settled in, finding I could open my mouth without uttering too many gaffes and making some treasured friends who accepted me as I was. I started to think again about observing Lent with some spiritual practices, for I remembered how much richer Holy Week and Resurrection Sunday had been when I had prepared myself during Lent. Here we are at Palm Sunday, marking the start of Holy Week. Jesus knows it is time to fulfil prophecies in the Hebrew scriptures, such as Zechariah 9, 9. Your king comes to you lowly and riding on a donkey. By riding a donkey, a king signifies that he comes in peace and not as a military leader. Also, Matthew is the only one of the four gospel writers to include the detail that the disciples bring both a donkey and a young colt, for he wants to refer to the Old Testament prophecy of Zechariah. It was customary to have the mother of the unbroken animal next to it when it was first ridden to keep it under control. The crowd who have gathered to celebrate the festival of Passover yearn for the Messiah and so throw palm branches at his feet, shouting with joy and adoration. But what they expect is a political Messiah, someone to stand for them against Rome. They cannot guess that their cries of adulation at the beginning of the week will turn to the mocking taunts of crucify him at the end. Jesus isn't the one whom people expect him to be. The Messiah was born a baby in humble circumstances, not a palace. He preaches a message of salvation for those who repent and believe. He heals the sick and those possessed by demons and even raises several from the dead. And now he will perform his greatest act of love and mercy by dying on the cross so that God's people can come to him unhindered by their sins. Whether or not you've observed Lent as you might have wished to at the start, consider how you can devote yourself to the true in God this holy week. 
Today, you might want to read the above passage imaginatively, putting yourself into the story, perhaps as the disciple finding the donkey and colt for Jesus, or maybe as a member of the crowd. Ask the Lord to show you what might be the best spiritual practices suited just to your passions, personality and needs. I trust he'll answer your request magnificently. Lord Jesus, you came and blew away everyone's expectations of what the King of Kings and Lord of Lords would look like. As we enter into the events of this Holy Week, I come to you in humility, bowing myself before you, confessing my sins and receiving your forgiveness. May the events of this last week of your life be brought alive in my imagination that I might know you more intimately and be more grateful for your sacrifice, which gives me life. I join the crowds to shout out with joy, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Blessed are you who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven.